like a mail. Let's go open it up. Well, here it is. It has arrived. Uh, the story on this is that I ordered this uh, beginning of December, the end of November. And what it is, it's uh, my ceramic coating that I uh, found online. It's uh, from Avalon King and they are located in Carroll Stream, Illinois. And they just sent it to me. There was a back order on it, so it did take about uh, two months to get here. Uh, all the way from Illinois and uh, Express Post which is good let's give her open ah. very nice packaging I don't know if you can tell but it's the uh, Armor Shield 4 nano ceramic coating a uh, very nice box. Let's, uh... Nice packaging. Oh, come on. Out. Very good packaging. How the hell are you going to get this out? Must be childproof. I should get a an adult here. Son of a gun. I don't want to wreck it though. Such a nice box. Alright, well, there it is. Nah, I gotta get this open for you guys. When in doubt, get angry. There you go. Ta-da! So there we have, finally got it open. Let's, uh... Protected by the king. Well, it, the box certainly was protected by the king. A nice little decal there. And there you have. A very nice box. Very nice packaging. There's the product itself. Armor shield. It's a nice little, uh, it's like it's like a metal little container. And at the top there, it has a little snap cap so it protects the product so it doesn't spill out. What else does it have in here? Now that's a big hunk of foam. Now that's a very impressive hunk of foam. And what I liked about this, the packaging, when you look right in there, it has the signature of Danny and Dave, and right in the center it says smile. And when you take it out, it's perfectly apply, smile, and enjoy. So these are the instructions. No, it's not. This is a thank you card. Here is a microfiber towel. It's very nice. Now inside here, ah, a set of black rubber gloves. Must have hand protection. And here is your, let's see the applicator. These are the felt applicator pads. You get three of them. And this here is the block. So it's uh, hard foam on this side and soft sponge on this. And once I read the directions, it'll tell me to wrap that on there and apply as such. What else is in the box? The instructions. Okay, it says wash clay bar polish IPA. Oh, it's 
the alcohol. I thought it was like uh, beer. So there is the directions. You apply the drops. Okay, well I'll give that a read. But first I'm going to do is do some pre-preparation. So I'm going to wash the car. Uh, I'm not going to clay bar it. I'm not going to polish it. But I will wipe it. Oh, this is the optimal method. I'm going to go this one, wash and apply. I'll go to this one here, which looks easier. Um, yeah, all right, let's go outside and prep the car. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wash the car. I got the dishwasher liquid ready down here. I got the pressure washer. I'm going to use dishwasher liquid because it's designed to take all the sort of degreaser out. It's the worst thing to wash your car with. However, for this application, it's the best thing. Um, you've seen me wash my car before, so all I'm going to do is fast forward through this part. So I'm not going to use the foamer, just going to use a hand wash, uh, dishwasher liquid, and uh, rinse it and we'll go from there. Let's do it. So now that she's washed, uh, let's hit her with the microfiber towels. We'll fast forward through this part too. There, I think we're ready to move the car inside. So next I have to clean the area with the isopropyl rubbing alcohol. This is the IPA. So again, I'm going to fast forward through all of this. So let's give that a couple of minutes to evaporate and uh, see you in a bit. So the way they say to apply this is to do it in sections, so small sections at a time. So I'm going to cut the hood in half and uh, later I'm going to do the two side quarter panels. Now my hood was, uh, hood and bumper was wrapped so it does have uh, paint protection film on it and uh, they, they say this is a good thing to do. The side quarter panels, the front two quarter panels don't have it, so uh, we'll see if there's a difference there. The, um, the way to apply it, so it's in a small section, so two sections uh, in the hood, uh, to apply four or five drops, you're going to go in uh, up and down movement and then across left to right, and then it should dry to a sort of a cloudy uh, texture or color, and then you just buff it off with the microfiber that comes along with it. So let's give this a try. All right, so I've uh, applied the first coat or the coat 
uh, to the right side of my my hood um, you won't be able to tell in camera but when you actually do apply it that you can actually see where you've gone as soon as you uh, put a, a layer on it begins to haze up so uh, it's it helps you know if you're spreading the product correctly so now we're supposed to wait two to five minutes uh, because of the climate here in Vancouver uh, I'm gonna give it the whole four minutes I'll give it the five minutes so when I come back I'll buff it and see if we can tell the difference but I'll do the other half and all that kind of stuff but basically that's how you apply it stand by to stand by so there you go it's been uh, four minutes so I'm now gonna use the uh, black microfiber cloth that came with it and to uh, give it a buff down Well, there you go. I'm going to do the rest of the car now. Well, at least the front half of the car. And uh, you can stand by and watch that and fast forward if you want. So the second side has now dried for five minutes. So again, I'm going to take their uh, microfiber soft cloth and give it a buff. There you go. Let's do the sides. All right, so uh, let's give this quarter panel a try. Let's give that five minutes to dry. So while I was waiting for this to dry, I got uh, creative and did the other side. Uh, even though it says do small sections at a time, I became a rebel. And uh, while I was waiting for this one, did the other side. I also did the uh, mirror backs um, on the side wing mirrors. Because uh, they're the plastic coating, so why not get them protected? So here we go. Fast forward, because I'm going to start buffing it out. So there you go. Well, there you go, guys. I've done the front half of the car. And uh, to tell you the truth, it was quite simple. Um, I, I, I'm shocked. Well, I'm not shocked. Uh, I'm surprised that, you know, detailing places, you can pay five, six, seven hundred dollars and up to have your car ceramic coated. That bottle there was 50% off from Avalon King and it came out to around 50 bucks. It was a hundred dollar product on sale for 49 or $50 uh, US, so like a thousand dollars Canadian. But the act itself, the application itself is actually quite simple. All you need is time, time. It's easy as wax on, wax off. And uh, it looks great. So now it has to settle for 24 to 48 hours. So I'm gonna park the car the rest of the day and then tomorrow I'm gonna to take it out and see what it looks like in the in the light I didn't want to do it outside because while this product is let's say wet I didn't want any uh, you know tree droppings or dust to get in into the into the the glass so they say on the box and on the internet and all that kind of stuff that this is good anywhere from one to five years so that's quite a span if a doctor said hey you're gonna live one year or five years that's quite a difference uh, so we'll play it by ear 
but uh, definitely going to do the front half. I'm going to do the rest of the car because it's just so simple to do. And it looks amazing. It looks like a high gloss shine on it. So going to park it. And uh, yeah, if I'm really impressed tomorrow, I'll add it to the video. If I'm not impressed, I don't know. Anyway, I might not do that. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, when you have a chance, there's a little bell icon. Hit that so all the new videos that I do come out to your uh, your screen. Anyway, you take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.